Hey guys, this is week four of Create a Song, and this is going to be the final week, and this is basically what you do when you're done with your song. Uh, traditionally, the setup of a song would be chorus, verse, chorus, verse, and it might end on a chorus or it might end on the verse, uh, excluding intros, transitions, and stuff like that, because that's usually a part of the verse and the chorus. I just labeled them separately so for a more visual effect. But technically, I would be done, because verse and then a chorus, and I put the end, you can see it's a little bit after because when the song ends, there's some stuff that carries out and you don't want to cut that off because if you send it to get mastering or if you're mastering yourself, you want to have a little headspace in there. One way you could do it, you can just go to File, Export Song as Audio File, and then go through the steps that it tells you. You really only need to do that if you're going to master in a whole other program like Pro Tools, then you don't want to export. but in the case we have now we might as well just keep it in the same file so what you're gonna do is go to your rack and you come up here to where it says master section and then you would right click and create a combinator and then it'll create it right below your master section when you flip it around you're gonna unplug these cables will normally read lead to the one and two of the audio and output to the audio IO and then but you're going to want to take those out and then plug them into the combinator that you just created into the input right here. And then you're going to take the output of the combinator and put it where it originally was connected. And then inside you can create your own uh, mastering suite by right click create and going to M class equalizer, stereo, compressor, maximizer, which that is exactly what I did. Or you can come to file and then load it's under all effects presets mastering and it gives you a whole list that so you can kind of list go through them and then listen to what they all sound like with your track but normally you're going to want to do it all by itself which is what i did right here so basically everything you just created your whole song is running through your combinator before it gets to your mixer but when you're coming back to master you might find something that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't fix that. So you can just come right back, change it, which of course affects your entire mix and your entire master. But it's quick access. And that's basically all you have to do. And then once you're done with that, you can export up in file, export. And that concludes our create a song. And next week, we're going to continue with cool things. Um, I've recently been doing some dubstep patches, so I'm going to go through a few of those patches. Uh, we're going to go through Kong Advanced Mixing, and if you haven't checked out my blog yet, go check that out. There'll be a link in the description. There's links provided to things I use. Links all go back to my videos, so it's a quick search site. There's a store, so everything that I use you can find in that store, and you can buy it through Amazon.com. And I will see you next week.